been standing here for a little bit and this is a very busy road. So we're gonna have to try and jump in between cars here because crazy. Oh, we got a nice little gap. So we're here today checking out a filming location. We are in Allentown, Pennsylvania and we are at the Allentown State Hospital campus. Now in the movie, this would have been redressed. Can you guess the movie? Uh, you cheated anyway, you clicked on the title. But yes, it is M. Night Shyamalan's Glass. Part of it was filmed right here. Glass, right here, right in this spot. Glass was the third installment to the Unbreakable Trilogy. A trilogy that you didn't even know was a trilogy until the end of the second one. Just all of a sudden, he just he threw a twist in there. You know, M. Night Shyamalan, he always does that. He threw that twist in there and it's like, whoa, this has to do with Unbreakable? And then of course, glass. I do have a few screenshots here from the film. Now about halfway through, our uh, one of our main characters, Casey here, she took a bus to the Ravencrest Memorial. Hey look, a bus. So she took a bus to the Ravencrest Memorial Mental Institute. This is where she actually stepped off and got off the bus here. We can tell right there's our little auto sales building in the back. Still has the same lettering. My, my picture's kind of blurry. I think it's blurry in the film, but you can see it there. Our sign is missing though. I was, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I can match this up perfectly with that sign. Our sign's gone. It's just, it's just missing. We can see it says the Raven Hill Memorial Hospital. Did I say Raven Crest earlier? I think I might have said Raven Crest. It's the Raven Hill Memorial Psychiatric Hospital. They would have just set dressed this sign. So this is the actual sign that was there. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, not too long ago from the filming of this, that main building that we can see there has been demolished. And it is missing from the landscape as you can see you can actually see uh, I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty far away but there is some construction equipment working right now that's how recent it's been I I just kind of missed it just by a little bit of time there oh no I'm going the wrong way we're gonna walk up here I don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything I'm imagining it is all fenced off as that it is an active work zone. I am a little surprised because on the Google, there are no trespassing signs down at the bottom of these roads and they're not there. So I really wasn't planning on walking up here. I brought the drone because I thought maybe, but then this is an authorization zone because of the airport and being that there's no signs, let's try that. Heh, <laughs> signs. No pun intended. It's a lot quieter up here. This is a pretty far walk. Maybe I should have grabbed the car. Now we're starting to see our warnings here. So there are fences, there are posted signs. We're getting a little closer. We're not gonna be able to get much closer, but we're almost there. Right there. That's, uh, that's where that main building would have sat. There is nothing left, it looks like. Ooh, water tower. Can that be seen in the movie at all? I, I honestly don't remember. It's been a little while since I watched it. There you can see the arm of that piece of construction equipment that's working away. The building would have been centered right about there, right in between those light bulbs. Now the film takes place in Philadelphia in the city. There's a shot. The building would have been there, remember. You gotta, gotta envision the building. There's a shot when they're in the front of the building here talking. They're actually facing this direction. And they would have changed the skyline because you cannot see the city from here, obviously. We're, we're in Allentown, we are not in Philadelphia. But they would have changed the skyline post-production right there. That's, that's almost the same shot from right here though. Why you gotta be so loud? I guess those are just problems you have to deal with when trying to record 
at an active construction zone. Noise levels. Cars, trucks, bulldozers, horns. Not very peaceful. So not too, too much to be able to line up there considering the building's gone and we can't get close. I'm curious if they dug up the pavement because there was like a little circle, like a tiny little circle in front of it. Um, that's where the main like fight was. So I'm curious if that's still there, but I can't, I can't see it. I can't get the right angle, but overall, oh geez, there's the sidewalks covered. What, what are they doing? The sidewalks covered in mud. Not very even, but overall successful little stop, semi-local. So this wasn't, this wasn't a long trip. Semi-local to home base, pretty, pretty close. Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, James McAvoy. Kick something, and I think I said that right. Phenomenal actor, phenomenal actor. But that's gonna end this trip. It was a quick, nice, easy one. If you enjoyed the video, please like. If you like filming locations, consider subscribing. It is something we do from time to time, along with many other adventures. Until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.